Hi, I'm Jeremy Jewell. I'm an applications engineer and collaborative robotics specialist here at RR Fluidy Company. Because various top modules can be incorporated to the mirror robots, you may need to have special markers throughout a facility that the robot needs to dock to, to provide a more accurate and repeatable location to be loaded either by humans or by other automation equipment. Uh, we could have conveyors on top. We could have the lifts to go into a rack and lift up and drive off with a pallet. Because of those variations and, and because of that flexibility, Mir offers a variety of ways that these robots can do that docking procedure. There are VL markers, which have a V shape with a little flat face. If the robot needs to dock in a forward facing location, so if the robot needs to come up to an end of a conveyor and transfer axially across, there's also just V markers. If you have limited space and you don't have room for the extra L, uh, that does allow the robot to dock off axes a little more easily. Uh, we also have these L markers. Uh, those are becoming one of my favorites in that we can mount conveyors crosswise to the robot platform, dock to it, and maybe take on multiple loads uh, again, uh, across that axis. So these two markers are really meant to be either on the floor or, um, you know, mounted to equipment. Those markers are going to be read by the laser scanners. The laser scanners are approximately eight inches off the floor. And that's where the center line of that marker needs to be plus or minus a couple inches. Another type of marker is a bar marker. That's typically what you would find with the larger units, the 500 and 1000. That is the rack structure, where the robot will look for two bars or a rack at that eight inches off the ground, and it will navigate over to it, see those two flat surfaces and dock between them in a parallel fashion. We can then go in, lift up, take a pallet off of the rack, lower it to a travel height and escape out of the area.